Okay, guys. So we just started freaking out. Can you not do that while I'm taking a video? Jeez. Sounds gross in the background. What? I took the freaking thing out. I don't know if it's going to come back up, but it was a smiley, which is weird because <clears throat> this is the earliest I've ever ovulated. Usually I don't ovulate till cycle day. Dang it. 14 or 15. Today is cycle day 12. So that is crazy. And it's Sunday. Nobody's in the office. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm freaking out. And this is the one time that they didn't do a mid-cycle check. So, I don't even know this is correct because the test kind of expired. Ugh. I'm going to take one again. Let's take another one. Take another one. Take another one. Take another one. Right, Shereen? Yeah, we're definitely going to take another one. It won't come up again. But if you look at these lines right here, they're there. Okay, they're there. And yesterday, they, it was only one. Today, yesterday. So, not quite sure what's happening. But yeah, we called the nurse, so we will let you know what she says. I might be having an IUI tomorrow. That was not the plan. I was supposed to be able to actually take off work instead of calling out, but that's not going to happen. We're probably doing a trigger tonight. How I look, y'all? How I look? Crazy. I feel crazy. Why you feel crazy? Cause man, I was not ready for this shit yet. <laughs> we thought we had it at least till Wednesday. No, like today's Sunday. Today is freaking Sunday, yo. Cause my cycles are like clockwork. So last IUI was on a Wednesday. I assumed this IUI was going to be on a Wednesday. This IUI is going to be on a Monday. It's two days early. Which means this changes stuff, guys. It won't come up again. I think I broke it. But it was definitely a smiley, guys. Mad. I should have showed y'all, but y'all believe me. I ain't got nothing to lie about. Anyways, I knew I was feeling them ovulation cramps a little too early. I got nervous Friday because I didn't test and I was like, but I feel like I'm ovulating. Nope. My body was preparing for it. Did you tell me that she used the old test? Uh, yes, it's expired. Yes. It's expired test. It expired in <coughs> February. It's August. Um, I was using the older test first because we only had, we had two of the older tests and we had four of the new tests. So I was going to wait till I got closer to my surge to start testing with the new test. Now I done jacked up because I don't know if this is real or not. And she can't pee again. And I can't pee again because I don't have to pee again. Oh, So God. by the time... You poured the pee out, didn't you? And I peed in a cup. You freaking nimbo dits. I don't know what that means. I didn't want to forget to... Leave. I didn't want to leave the pee out. You always leave the pee out. Uh, now I know, God darn it. It's too late now. Okay, Sh shitter. You at least you can pee out till the test is done. Shereen, I was rushing. Aiden was crying because I was in the bathroom too long. I had to get out. No, it's no excuses. Man, stop making them. Because we don't know if you're really pregnant or not. I mean, I'll be like, What? Wait a minute. You're rushing this. You pray to God you're pregnant. I mean, you know Get you're pregnant. pregnant. All right, you guys. All right, guys. We'll hit you back up when I get a call. I don't know what to do. But we'll let you, we'll definitely let you guys know. You will know what we know. So I took another test. And it's positive. So 
and it's not expired. It doesn't expire to 2020. So this might be it. We'll see. Sherry's on the phone with my doctor. All hey right. guys, so the mother workers are very displeased today, okay? We are very displeased because these this fertility clinic is so unorganized. I'm so aggravated. Um because I'm gonna tell you why. Because we called today to tell them that I got a surge and they were like, Okay, we'll call you tomorrow to come in. Excuse me. First of all, why are you waiting? Second of all, whatever. So two hours later, no, they didn't even say that. We waited two hours to get a phone call, didn't get a phone call. Then we called back and they were like, Well, We'll schedule an appointment just to come in tomorrow. And I'm like, to do what? And they were like, just to get an ultrasound. No, I don't need an ultrasound. I need an IUI tomorrow. So then I finally get a nurse on the phone. Sorry, I'm trying to clean up. And she's like, well, why didn't you have a mid-cycle? And I'm like, I'm like, I don't know. You got to ask my nurse. I don't know why I didn't have a mid-cycle. That's not on me. So she's like, well, don't do the trigger and come in for an ultrasound tomorrow. And I'm like, well, Shireen's like, no. If I get a surge today, I should trigger tonight and have an IUI in the morning. And she was like, well, I don't know why you would be triggering. And why didn't you have a mid-cycle so we'd know for sure? I don't know. So I'm mad at myself because when she didn't schedule me a mid-cycle, I should have asked. I will let you guys know what happens. I'm not, I just, I don't know. Just... It's aggravating. It's so aggravating. I don't know what to do. And my wife is saying that she don't want to do it. She don't want to do uh, the IUI this month because it's so unorganized. This is our third. This is our. Sorry, I'm getting over a cold. This is our third and final IUI. After this, we are done, y'all. We decided we're done. So we can't keep putting this kind of money into stuff that's not going to work out for us. So I want it to work out, but it doesn't seem like it is. And I'm almost like losing hope. So we did get our call back at like noon. And they called and said, do the trigger tonight, come in for an ultrasound first thing in the morning, and then... They have to unthaw our vow, which takes two hours. And then they'll do the IUI depending on the results from my ultrasound, which they, they should be good because I got a positive and my body is pretty regular. That's why it's kind of weird. I'm kind of scared because I'm like this, usually very regular. I shouldn't be ovulating this early, but whatever that was my due date up if i do get pregnant so i'm trying to be out of work as much as possible at the end of the school year <laughs> so that probably moves my due date to the 12th instead of 15. either way i'm going in at least a week early really hope this will work so do I, because this is it. We're not doing it no more. Nope, we're done, guys. We are done. Yeah, we're just going to be... Um, mom, mom is a one. Yeah, we, we, we can say we did all that we could do in our ability, in our money, in our power. I'm sorry, you guys. That way we can say we did all we could, because even though there's other options, we can't afford them or right do now. them. So, we've done everything we could, that we could possibly mm -hmm. do. So, I can't keep spending money on this. The amount of money that we spent trying to get pregnant this year. We could have went out of the country, had a huh. huge family vacation. We could have went out of the country and stayed in them little um, huts on the, on the water. Bungalows. 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 What are they called? For a week. <laughs> right. We're Yeah, so we're not gonna keep doing this, y'all. I'm just saying. Now y'all gonna say, don't give up. 
We ain't got it's that. Not, we we ain't got that. Up. It's giving in. <laughs> just okay. No, it's just understanding when something is not for you. All right. Maybe we're just meant to have one little single child. Or maybe one will come later. Yeah. I don't know, but right now it's not the time. If, if this don't work, then we know it's not the time. Watch. You're gonna watch this video in like six months and be like, oh, we really thought we was giving up. Hey, pregnant with twins. Sure, we ain't going past it. <laughs> we about to do the trigger shot. Cause they told us to do it tonight and it is. She is so I pretty. don't have no watch on. I'm what? Pretty. Fat. Pretty what? Pretty fat. Pretty. Uh, pretty ugly. Shut up. All right, we about to do the trigger shot. Y'all about to see yet again. This will be my fourth trigger shot in four years. No, not even. In two two years? Oh, I got pregnant waiting in 2016. It's 2018. Wow, two years ago, this time of year. <laughs> Wait, two years ago? Two months later. Two years ago, around this time, we started our IUI process with Aiden. Yeah. Two years. Yeah. Because we was, ordered our first vow, our first four vows on September 12th, 2016. Our, our first IUI was in September. Mm-hmm. And it is August. Oh, my gosh. I'm so tired. Tree's going to go get the trigger shot. So. Yeah. We'll record that in a second. All right, guys. It's about to go down again. Just like my last audio, I don't have no shorts. <laughs> what the heck is wrong with me? I'm fat. It is. That's not what you want? No. <laughs> it's supposed to be, hold on, it's supposed to be an inch from Jerry. the belly button. An inch from the belly button. Ready? One, two, three. Ow, that's hurt. Should I release it? Mm -mm. I won't hurt this time. She didn't stab it. She poked it. Release. Uh-oh. All right, chicken and chick fillets. Chickens and chick fillets. Chickens and chick fillets. So there it is. It's done. My fourth and final trigger shot. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, this feels weird because we're not telling anybody. So we're pre we're pretending like we're going to work tomorrow. Nobody knows we're doing this. I'm kind of going back and forth between whether or not I should go to work afterwards. My last IUI, I was cramping so bad afterwards. I was not gonna make it to work, even though we were off work. So if I have that happen this time, I will not make it to work. But I gotta figure out what I'm going to do because my mom watches our son here. So. Yeah. If it doesn't, I don't know. I have to just be in the car crying. What? If I have the cramps like I did last time. Because I, <laughs> I can't come back here. Right, and then it's just we need to make sure. Well, you, you didn't take Tylenol before you did it last time. Are you supposed so. to take Tylenol before your IUI? Shit, I don't know. Can you do that? I've never done that before. Well, I don't know, then. It's just talking shit to you. Are you just making up stuff? <sighs> I actually like you pregnant. That sounds really bad. <laughs> I didn't mean like that. <laughs> She's awful. I'm just saying you weren't a bad pregnant person. Bad pregnant. You weren't a bad pregnant person. I actually kind of enjoy being pregnant for the first, for the first like Few six months. months. Then once I hit seven months, I was like, oh, I'm sick of this. I'm done. I'm over it. <sighs> My pregnancy was not bad until the very end. What you think? Yeah, it got bad real quick. She don't even know what she's talking about. Huh? Stuff keeps going in my eye. Why you keep putting stuff in my eye? Hmm? Well, all right, guys. We'll see y'all in the morning.